So is that actually... I was going Marsh, by the way. Wow, this area is huge. So much bigger than the demo area. Well, I don't know if we can go everywhere yet, but... <laughs> I know, I know you've been here a bit, but I didn't actually say hi yet. Just wanted to say hi. Uh, see, like, this is... I was a little afraid with that opening cutscene that, like... The world felt like it was a bit smaller, maybe? But now I can really see, like, all the way out there, I can, I can go to that exact spot. Now it's starting to feel bigger. God, this main theme. This main theme is very close to the original. It's not really jazzed up much at all. It actually feels like the original mostly. See that mountain? You can go there. Oh my god, look at this. I was like, oh man, I probably can't get down yet, but... You guys alright up there? Sounded like they were dying. Wait, how is... How, how did Red 13 climb? Now I gotta know. Cool that they all do it too, not even just uh, my three party members. Look at them go. Look at Red 13 go. The upper body strength. Dude's cracked. Yeah, not to mention Barrett. Pulling all that weight. Dear! Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. Aerith, even if they did attack us, have you seen the things we've killed? <laughs> I think we'll be alright. I don't think they stand a chance. Red 13 time! Can definitely take down enemies, lose radio saw, blah blah blah, square, hold down, send the guard, vengeance, strangle. Oh god, this song, dude. Oh my god. So I was playing around with Red 13 a bit in the demo, and he is so good. And so fun. But like, vengeance mode is pretty wild.
like Sidewinder is pretty nuts too. So summons work the same way, it's just random, which I'm not really a big fan of, but... It does keep the summons from being spammable, at least. Watch this. Boom! Stardust Ray is pretty freaking dope. Yeah, it's not exactly random, but you know what I mean. Like, it's not... You don't select it. Although, I don't know if it's changed in this one or not, but... Speaking of which... Should have my DLC bonuses. Summon a group of Moogles that turn any battle into a Koopotivating experience. What? Summon an Eldritch Jar full of supportive surprises. Which of them... It will bestow, however, is anyone's guess. Being warn by a wayfarer who left Midgar behind in order to see the wonders of the world. Bracelet crafted with such an inspiring design that anyone who wears it, no matter how timid, gains the courage to explore the world at large. I like how you can see the links. Choker inspired by the ebb and flow of the life stream restores a small amount of HP upon defeating enemies. He finally drew Leviathan. A talisman from a Moogle who traveled the world collecting rare curios. Adds a fixed chance of increasing your haul when gathering materials. A collection of items featuring potions, bothers of ether, and other consumables that will prove you so why. Why would I want that? Why would I want... Potions. Not taking that. Yet. So... So right now, we have 14, 7, and 8, 8. So with our... I think this was like either for pre-order or for special edition. We get an armor that's like... Three times as strong. But still one materia slot. And here we get... This is for the Collector's Edition. Um, and maybe the Special Digital Edition? This one has three slots. And it's, like, twice as strong. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. I say it every time. I'll say it again. This is dumb. It's stupid. Why bother? I hate this. Don't do it. I have zero idea why they think a pre-order bonus should be just equipment that makes the beginning of the game easier. Like, at least here, you get more materia slots, so you could make the argument like, oh, it makes the early game a bit more fun because you can experiment with materia more. But what is this? This is just, you take less damage. It just set the game to easy. Like, what, what is the point of this? You don't see the equipment. It's not visual. Like, at least with Final Fantasy 16, you got a visually different sword. This is a complete waste of a pre-order bonus, or a special edition bonus. That's like... And I'll probably find something better than that by the time we're done playing today. So, like, that's just a complete waste. I don't know what the thought was there. We also got this. Restores HP when defeating an enemy. I'll just leave it. Just make... Yeah, I mean, there's just a million different other things you could do. Make a skin... You know, honestly, that's the best thing to do. That's the thing that's going to get the most people excited. Give us a cup noodle hat. Give us a different looking buster sword. Give us a different looking red 13 weapon. Like, just something like uniquely cool where you can be like, hey, look, we got special edition. Give us a big head mode. I don't know. I think, I mean, I, I even, even something like 
a Queen's Blood card. Could have been a better pre-order bonus or special edition bonus. But I, I have I have zero zero faith in Square Enix pre-order bonuses and special edition bonuses. They've always been bad. <laughs> They've always been very questionable. It's, uh, it's not like I was expecting anything better. Alpha Dunk. God, this man, I love this battle theme. It's like getting me excited, man. That like bop 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 like gets me every time. So uh, we talked about this in the demo, but Aerith does work slightly differently. Now her triangle is she can warp, and Tempest is now just her hold square, which I think is a lot better. And also, Fleeting Familiar is part of that ability now, instead of being a separate ability. I'll show you what I can do. While their guard is up, landing powerful offensive abilities from behind will pressure them, but also cause them to see red. What is he doing? What is that? What is this move? Oh, he's blocking. Oh, yeah. Hold up that vengeance. You're ready to see Red 13 at his full power. He's so, he's so good. He's so fun. Well, I mean, mashing square or holding square to attack in action RPGs is very common. The difference is that there's a million other things you can do that's better than holding square. That's the difference from something like Final Fantasy XV or other action RPGs that are... People say, like, the holding square thing is bad. It's because there's, there's a million other things to do that will benefit the fight better and get you more damage and get you more everything else, you know. But it is a fair point. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. It's Bill. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. <laughs> I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Did Bill just tell us about an abandoned building? I'm going to leave it there. No, I actually said that too, Retro. When I was talking about the um, the synergy skills, I was like, 
I like that this is here, and I like that it's different than Remake, but I do worry if it's, like, there's too much going on, and they're just kind of... Like, we're adding more and more on top of Remake to the point where it's just going to be, like, there's so many options that everyone's just kind of going to stick to what works best and not really go out of their comfort zone. Um, I don't think we're necessarily there yet, but I do think it could become a problem if we can... Like, especially in the third game, if we continue to add more on top, you know? Yeah, then it could just be, like, ridiculous, like... But they're doing a good job of not only just adding things, but also tweaking things. So it's not just a remake, but now there's this new concept. Like, everything works slightly differently. But yeah, no, I, I do agree. I, I'm worried... Not maybe not worried, but I do wonder if they they may go a bit overboard with the third game if they continue to add more mechanics on top of what's already here, because there's already so many options you have when you enter a fight. Which is not a bad thing, but like the the overwhelm factor is a thing that you have to worry about. You don't want to overwhelm the player with too many options or else they're just gonna take the the easy way out, you know? Okay, I want to read this, because I didn't understand this in the demo. Use, utilizing ATB commands marked with that of thing will grant characters synergy when two characters share enough synergy that can activate their synergy abilities. Okay. So what... Do I not have any abilities that do that currently? Team's just gonna kill everything. In other news. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean for you guys to answer that. I just was thinking out loud. Um, I'm already getting lost in these menus. How do I... I guess I'd have to go to my weapon to look at my abilities. Oh, you're all good. Don't worry about it. Also, like, everyone has... Yeah, no, that... that the, the explanation about it seems a bit odd. I was confused in the demo, but I felt like it was just a me thing. But it says to look for that icon, but then I don't see that icon anymore. So I'm a little confused. God, I have like so much to look at. I gotta equip their weapon abilities because they don't have an equipped yet. And you have precision defense, which is actually pretty cool because you need that for vengeance. He has poison, which is actually a pretty cool nod. Because he's given poison in the original. That's what he starts with. Poison and fire, I believe. You have prayer and wind. And Shiva. They have TBN. Increases wind damage. Well, there you go. 
Lightning HP up. Oh my god, I have so much materia. I'm not really interested in Leviathan and Remove, because they're probably going to be the same. So I want to try Magic Pot and Moogle. I wasn't going to equip any DLC stuff until afterwards, because I want, like, the normal experience without DLC. But these will just be for fun, and I don't have to summon them if they come up, so... I just want to see what they're like. Increases attack power while unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost at chi level 1 and 10% at chi level 2. Utterly unbridled strength. Chakra and ice. Lightning HP up. Barret's really uh, embracing his tank role. Aerith really embracing her glass roll. So no HP. She does have pretty good magic defense, though. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm trolling. You know what? Red 13 doesn't have poison. You get poison right before you get Red 13. It doesn't have poison. I'm trolling. You get it in the chest right before you. Dude, I'm just going to keep... If it's going to let me keep going, I'm going to keep going. I'm running into people. I'm learning stuff. I'm meeting Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. How do I change my party again? Like this. Try Barrett and Tifa. Let's see if Tifa is still... Uh, actual god mode. She didn't feel like it in the demo. I mean, she felt really strong, but she didn't feel like absolutely nutty like in Remake. And also, she's really bad at fighting anything in air. She also has this hold down square for a powerful blow now, which is interesting. But other than that, she's exactly the same. Also, we got moves. We got the squirrels. Dude, dive kick is still just as fun to use. Oh my god. <laughs> I knocked him out of his hole. And I think uh, focus strike can still be canceled. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Dude, she's even faster. It's like... She is just crazy. Holy cow. I think the fluidity of the combat is going to make her even crazier. I wonder if we can still parry cancel. If parry's still a thing. I wonder if Perry's still going to be a thing, because Sephiroth had an ability called Perry. So I wonder if Perry Materia is even going to be a thing. But yeah, even without that, we can still dodge cancel. Oh my god, just like, look at her go. Oh, I just... I just realized her dodge is parry. She does the slide. Oh my god, look at this. What is this? I mean, she's not dealing... She is dealing... Get okay, she just has a built-in parry now? That's pretty incredible. Well, Tifa's cracked. <laughs> Tifa's cracked. It's official. 
yeah, it's like deadly dodge parry in one, and she has it automatically, and she can just already animation cancel her moves. So, long story short, she cracked. Keep it together. She could even use- oh my god, and it keeps her combo, too. What in the world is this character? What is this character? I think they literally ripped the same exact audio from Remake for that. That sounded exactly like the Remake audio. Can you still repair these? Oh, we haven't learned to repair... Okay. I feel like we should go to the farm, because there's certain mechanics that are not available to me yet. Because you're supposed to be able to repair these. And also, there doesn't seem to be any, like, special fights. So I think we should maybe go to the farm to, like, learn some stuff before we explore too much. Yeah, they ripped off their own game. Zero out of ten. I like the Mako just spilling out of the ground. It's really cool. That cloud just... Looks like such a loser rolling around, now that I've experienced Tifa. Although he's, he's faster in battle. <laughs> in battle, his roll looks a lot more... more faster. Going the wrong way. I think this is why they told me to go to the farm. But the farm isn't even like my objective. My objective is the this. The farm is just a a created pin that they did just as like a tutorial to show me I can make pins. Has any of your characters yawned or said they feel sluggish yet? Uh, Red Thirteen yawned in a cutscene. And Aerith yawned in a cutscene. Oh my god, look at the farm! Nope, you all, you control Cloud. Because right now, Red... Actually, no. My bad. In the other party, Red 13 is my leader. But, uh... Yeah, no, if I... If I make Tifa my leader... We still control Cloud. Red 13 and Aerith just chilling back there. The banjo, the steel drums, the accordion. Absolute fire. Let me in. He's got a little map. I see chocobos. I expect this at the next Distant Worlds concert. I want to hear them play this on real steel drums and accordions. So wait, this isn't actually the farm. This is a separate farm. There's two. There's probably going to be a bunch, so you can actually like go to the farm more than once and do stuff with your chocobos. Instead of having to fly back to the one farm every time. I was going one black. Yeah, I don't think so. There's a lot of things on mobile you can't do. It's a shock that the mobile app even exists.
I found out the other day that announcements don't show up on mobile. So, like, there's a thing in Twitch chat where if a mod or I type forward slash announcement and then type something, it comes up in the chat as, like, a big announcement for everyone to see. And those don't show up on mobile. It's like, the whole purpose of it is to be more visible, and it doesn't show up on an entire point. <laughs> <laughs> on like one of the entire plat like probably 75% of the people are on mobile platform maybe not that many but you know the whole platform doesn't show it like what the heck I mean I would understand if it showed up as a regular message instead of an announcement but no it just doesn't show up at all so like those people just completely miss the announcement Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. You know what else will? Pouch! Is there a is there an adjective I can use that's past dead? Cuz I think they're more than just dead. Not sure what word to use for that. They're they're super dead. They're they're deadest. They're, <laughs> they're dead 2.0. They are Darth Unity bus. We need an overkill mechanic in this game. Oh, they were like sleeping. They were like laying down. They were, like chilling. Need to need to get some uh Abilities we can use together. Man, those are so strong. Also, I think it's really cool that the other characters do, like, fight. You can't control them, but, like, Aerith and Red 13 do, like, walk around and throw in an attack every once in a while. Which is really cool. Like, it just makes it feel... I don't know, like, more real? Like, more authentic? That they're not just, like, standing watching us fight? Or they're not... They don't just completely disappear from the map when we're not using them? No, like, subs and stuff still show up, but no, there's, like, a very specific thing that says, like, announcement, and then it has, like, the text highlighted. Like that. And yeah, that just straight up doesn't show up on mobile. We got cows? I feel like seeing cows feels so weird to me because, I don't know, for some reason I just imagined Final Fantasy as like this different world that just doesn't have the animals we have. So to see just like a normal cow <laughs> just cracks me up. And like deer, yeah. It just feels so out of place. It's like, I just figure like every animal is a more fantastical version. So just see like some normal cow. <laughs> it's pretty great. What is that? What is that? Oh, okay. 
So we do get folios. Oh, they all have their own little book. Man, these really remind me of the Final Fantasy VIII books. Look very similar. Alright, we can increase Punisher damage, so maybe we can get it closer to its old state. Perform a ranged attack with your partner. Activate in sequence to trigger a three-hit combo. We get Bullet Batter and Howling Smash. Howling Smash is magical. So, I'm wondering if elements are going to be really important in this game. Because not only do we start with all the elements, but then we also have abilities that give us elemental damage without needing the materia equipped. And, spoilers from the demo, we also get combination materia that is like fire, ice. So, uh... I'm wondering if they're really going to, like, make... I mean, elements were already pretty important in Remake, but... Like, especially stuff with, like, Hell House. Um, so... I'm wondering if in this game it's going to be even more important. I'm going to get this just because I need some... Combo attacks. Nice HP by 200. What does effect chain attack mean? Man, there's just so much. So much to learn, so much to keep track of. Oh, we still got sales. We got cushions on sale. <laughs> so, for those of you that didn't play the demo, cushions are basically tents. Uh, instead of sleeping in a tent, you sit on a bench with a cushion. Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> hilarious and, and pretty inventive. Yo, Shaw, thank you so much for the Prime, man. Uh, we're definitely going to get that steel materia, because we do not have a steel materia. Uh, Hunter's Bangle. Yes, please. And I love these bangles, like the look of them. Power Wrist Guards would be pretty good to get. Oh, they brought back Revival Earrings. Are they going to be as busted as they were in OG? In, uh, in Remake, Revival Earrings were busted um, actually, like, glitch-wise, because you could uh, off yourself with a self-destruct and have your Revival Earrings revive you, and it led to some goofy glitches with getting out of bounds and stuff. So I wonder if they fixed that. Also, Revival Earrings mixed with self-destruct mixed with um, resisting death was the combo I used for the Bahamut fight to get Limit instantly. Which, uh, was like one of the coolest mechanics in that game. I think that's like my third most viewed remake video. Or maybe second most viewed remake video my, behind like my review or something. Was the video where I use self-destruct on Bahamut to get limit break instantly. I kind of want one of these for Tifa slash Red 13. Actually, doesn't Tifa already have one? No. Who has it? Oh, Cloud does. I can't decide. I mean, like, I like all the characters so much. I can't decide which ones I want to use. I think I need to just... 
probably try to use them all equally. Which, speaking of which, I need to use Barrett. I haven't used him yet. There's my Hunter Bangle. Give you steel. safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. Doggo! I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. So that was odd. He just told me the same thing that boy Bill told me. So what was the purpose of uh, Coming here. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. They need to be nice and so they can Block his water stream. <laughs> Bumped into him. Yo, thanks, Kesson. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. So I guess there wasn't really any reason to come here. It was just another way to get to the same spot. Hmm. See, Mark, they really give it a sub to Porco. Steven, thank you also very much for the four months. This looks like a great spot for some ingredients. to fix it, Mushroom. Why did it stop? Ferret specializes in ranged attacks. I think pretty much everything with him is the same. At least with his regular mechanics. Yo, Porco. They give her gifting... Paying your gifted sub forward. With your own sub to death 2024. Wait, what? Let me see. Restarting it or refreshing it? So I can refresh it. Oh, that didn't work. Try restarting it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, it does. It it resets the number each time. So we're gonna have to like change that every morning. Anyways, we'll see if that fixes it. As long as we keep track of it, it's fine. I can always look back as well. Like it's a big deal. But 
No, I do want it to save. It's gonna be that same amount until we beat the game. So, yeah, it can, it can stay the same. We can do that tonight. But I am worried about it disconnecting. I wonder why it's disconnecting. Take that. I'm gonna get one of those deer at some point. It's gonna happen. I think we're getting closer to the marsh. Oh, we got a different song for the marsh. I love the the slow transformation into the marsh. Second time they've mentioned Republic. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. <laughs> then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow. You can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Can you guys back up a bit? So, did Red 13 really just, like, stare at us when Barrett said that? Like, Barrett said it, and then Red 13, like, turned to us. Like, can you believe this guy? Yeah, I believe... I know I've heard that name before. If I remember correctly, Midgar Sormer was, like, the original name... When it got translated, they changed it to Zolum. And then one of the mods we played, perhaps it was New Threat, changed it back to Midgard Swarmer, Swarmer. So that's like where I had heard it originally. But apparently that's actually what the original name was before it was translated. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to say it was New Threat, because he did a lot of... Okay, it must have been something else. Then. But he, he did a lot of those where, like, if the original translation was different, he changed it. But, uh, not with New Threat. Is he floating? What is going on? Your pile is floating, sir. Let me fix that for you. The classic combo of uh, uppercut into dive kick. What are you shooting at? I mean, failed. His focus shot still takes two ATB. Or can take two ATB. Holy moly!
Yeah, dude, man, the, the, the battle theme here is freaking incredible. I want to fix the things. Oh. Oh, well, I still can't fix it, though. Oh, you can't rest at all if you don't use a cushion. Cloud wouldn't be seen dead sitting on that without a cushion. I feel like Barrett is a lot stronger, which is good because I felt like he was kind of weak in Remake in general. He did have some cool stuff going on. Oh, I leveled up a Materia. I leveled up Chakra. Uh, Barrett had some cool stuff with like Maximum Fury and stuff, and I, his, his charge attack was also like really strong if you'd used it right, but in general, he just kind of had less tools than everyone else. He was just kind of like, objectively the the least useful character. Did you see that overcharge while Tifa was hitting him in midair? That was brutal. Yeah, that was... And then Cloud batting that Moo out of the air to kill it there. Yeah, the, the two bar focused shot was pretty useful in some spots. But unfortunately, if I remember correctly, Cloud's focus thrust and especially Tifa's focus strike, using two of them were better than using one of Barrett's doubles. So like it didn't end up being worth it a lot of the time. <laughs> 